Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video where I'm going to share with you some newborn activities so basically activities or things that you can do with your newborn baby so i'm talking about from when they're born until they're 12 weeks old so our baby is kind of fast approaching the end of that period and i thought that i would just share with you things that i've been doing with her or that i tried to do with her um please don't feel pressure that you have to do all of these things every day you definitely don't but it's just something that i see like crop up quite a lot i get asked or I see other people asking in various places, you know, like, what do you do with your newborn? Because they're there and they're small and they don't talk and they don't do much. And you're kind of like, oh, like, what do I do with them? But yeah, there are things that you do with them. So I just want this video, hopefully, to be helpful in case you're sort of sat wondering, oh, like, they're awake, what should I be doing? But also just to reassure you that it's nothing major, it's nothing that special, probably some of this you are doing anyway. So I hope this video kind of reassures you as well. But yeah, anyway, let's get into the newborn activities. So the first newborn activity is tummy time, which is probably one that you will have definitely heard of. And it is really important for them. Obviously, it helps with their muscles, their head control. I think it's also meant to help with sort of their motor skills later on as well as they're developing. And also to prevent, I know there's a special word for it, but like flat head syndrome. Um, so you can do tummy time whenever, wherever, really. Um, I think it's out of all of these, it's one that you should try to do every day. Um, and they will get better. Um, some babies don't like it, but some babies fine. Um, and yeah, you can do it maybe when you change their nappy, if you get a little window of opportunity then, maybe just before. Because I don't know about you, but um, my baby cries sometimes, or usually when doing her nappy so it's not always the best time but like before is probably okay um and in the very early days you will find that tummy time looks more like when they're on you so you know you can just sort of like recline and they can just be on your chest um and it's quite nice actually and as, as they do as they are um sort of able to look at you it's really sweet so sometimes i put her on my chest and then she'll just like look at my face and it's lovely um, so it can look like that, it's absolutely fine. Also, if they are in a carrier or a sling and not asleep, um, then and then they're sort of like holding their head up, that also counts as tummy time. But otherwise, it can be on a changing mat, you can also do it on their play mat, you can do it on the bed. It's quite nice on the bed because then you, you can be on the floor and sort of crouch down and they can like look at you, sort of, if you know what I mean, and they're on the, they're on the bed looking at you. And you can also give them things to look at, which we'll sort of talk about in a minute anyway. Um, and this just gives them something a bit more interesting to look at. But yeah, tummy time is a really important newborn activity. The next newborn activity that I want to talk about is showing them black and white cards or black and white books. But they really, really like those high contrast because they can only see in black and white. So I've got some here that look a bit like this which came with um, the Love Every play mat, which was sent to me and I did a whole video about that um, in my second trimester update, I think. So if you want to learn more about that, you can. Um, but yeah, it's just, they love these. Um, so you can buy cards like this, you can buy toys like it, books, like I said, I've got a set of books. Um, and yeah, you can just show it to them. And then you can also sort of move it around and you will find like literally from the word go, if you move it, you know, let them notice it and see it. And then if you move it from side to side, their head will follow it. It will track. So I love doing that because I just think it's so, so cute. But yeah, that's definitely something that you can do. You're just following it. And like I say, during tummy time, if you put one of these in front of them, whether it's like on the mat, sort of like just up a bit so they can sort of see it well. Um, yeah, they love doing that. You can also do something similar by putting things like that on the side of them and you can encourage sort of side lying or just for them to turn their heads as well. When you are showing these black and white images, it's also just good to know that, I mean, obviously they've got a very short attention span. So if you hold it in front of them, maybe like a foot away, something like that. If they look away, I think that, I think it is meant to mean like they have had enough or like they're bored of it or whatever. So then just like show them a different one or move on to something else but I mean it might so it might just be a few moments um but yeah if you find they're sort of like looking away um then do something different 
Another newborn activity or a thing to do with your newborn when they're awake, and I know they they're not, some babies just aren't awake that much and that's fine by the way, so don't worry if you don't get to do some of this, it's just if you have a window then you can do it. But of course it's a play mat, so I would recommend having a play mat. As I said, we've got the Love Everyone and that's great, obviously they've, they've got those arches with things dangling off of it and now she is approaching the end of her newborn period, she is actually reaching for the, the dangly things, which is brilliant. Um, so you can definitely see them developing, but I mean, it's somewhere soft for them to go, but like I say, it's just somewhere they can lie and they can look at things above them and it's somewhere that you can show them things like that. Something else that you can show your newborn is a mirror and that's something that I did quite recently with her. We've got one of these cards, but that is reflective um, and it's so sweet. She definitely sort of clocked herself. Not that she knows, it's her, obviously. I can't remember when that is, when they actually realise it's them, but it's, it's not yet. Um, but yeah, that's something else that you can show them. It's sort of shiny and reflective and it sort of catches their attention. Now, the next newborn activity sounds really obvious and maybe a bit silly, but it's just talking to them. Um, which, yeah, maybe you think, well, obviously, but I think... So it may might come more naturally for some than to others so sometimes you might just be getting them dressed or doing something you're pottering around the house you're not like really thinking about talking to them but just try and I guess remember to because I think one it's very good for their speech development anyway um, and I think it's a good habit to sort of get into as as they get older anyway but just also in general you know they've heard your voice for all that time when they were inside of you um and they probably love your voice so yeah just like talking to them and yeah you might find you feel a bit silly at first possibly um but don't worry <laughs> it's not silly at all and then like similarly also singing to them as well don't forget to sing have a little jig have a little dance you can just, uh, you know, walk with them around and just sing to them again. They like your voice. And if there's particular music that you played to them when they were in your tummy or, you know, something that you sang to them, or maybe, you know, there's just your favourite song that you're always playing in the car. If you sort of sing it to them or play it to them, um, I'm sure they would like that as well. But just like music and you singing in general is also a really nice newborn activity to do with them. And I also was going to say that when you do talk to them, talk to them sort of when they're like right in front of you, sort of like face on in the centre. I think they call it the midline. But also, I also move myself around again to sort of promote that tracking and her moving her head around. Um, but yeah, also speak to her like on the side as well, just so that they get used to you being wherever really and just sort of moving their head around and doing that tracking. But yeah, I do make sure that I speak to her like in front of me and then also moving around too. Next newborn activity is to read to them and again you might think that's silly because they obviously don't know you know a story um but again it's just sort of you know and, and maybe it's quite good if you feel a bit sort of weird about just like talking to them um you know reading a book is maybe a good place to start as well. I've got some black and white books so it's the black and white thing but it's also just I mean it's only pictures but I sort of just talk about the pictures it's like animals or um, faces and things like that but again it's just hearing your voice. I also carry our baby around a lot in the sling or carrier which I do because I've got an older child and it's just really useful to sort of have my hands free but yeah you can just do that and then you can go about the house do you know household tasks or whatever it is you want to do um but they're with you which obviously they like as well but it's good as i say that also counts as tummy time as well but they're close to you they obviously can feel the warmth of you they can probably hear your heart beating away which they would have heard in the womb um and yeah they can sort of like go about the house with you so they're sort of going in different rooms they might be able to see like you know the changes in light and stuff and it's just something a bit interesting for them so it's not sort of an activity for them as such it's just you're just wearing them um but it is definitely beneficial and just in general taking them around the house i remember i used to show my son our house sort of thing i used to say this is our front room and this is your kitchen or whatever um it's just just for something to talk about and you can also let other people talk to them so if you if there are siblings around let them have a little talk with them have a little cuddle a little play it's just a different voice and a different face to look at so you can also buy 
various things so i've spoken about a play mat but you can also buy these rings with different ribbon on which i think are quite popular i bought mine on amazon you can also get them on etsy people sell them but it it's just something you can again dangle in front of them <laughs> but it's also something that they can feel as well so it's a little bit different sort of because i think sort of the senses are obviously really important to them um and developing that and promoting that i suppose so yeah having different things that they can touch um, I've also bought some scarves, which are different colours, that sort of really like thin material, just got a pack of them, um, and again it's like different colours as well, I can't remember exactly when their vision is sort of like changing, but obviously as time goes on, yeah they can see black and white, but they can also see colour as well, um, and they start to see colour, so, and different tones, so they're really useful, you can also tie them onto a playmat arch, if you're using the playmat, and then recently with her i've been using so i bought a disco light which is probably quite bright quite flashy and i was kind of thinking oh i don't know like when to introduce that i didn't want it to be too over stimulating for her but we've got a night light which just coincidentally does change color but it's quite soft it's quite gentle it's slow it's not like a flashy one but she really likes that just to lie her down and just like play it to her just pull it on and she'll really like it um if she's getting a little bit like fussy on the evening sometimes as well it it just helps but yeah she really does enjoy that so i would definitely recommend getting some sort of light and what i did with my son i used to put him on the play mat i get one of those silver foil blankets it's just like it is like foil really but it's more plasticky i guess um and it's almost like a little den obviously it makes it dark and then you put a light inside of it obviously it all reflects off the silver foil it looks really cool which i haven't actually started doing that with her yet again i think it's something maybe towards the end of the 12 weeks um because i didn't know if it was going to be like too much for her but it's definitely something that i'm going to start doing you know soon um and something that my son really enjoyed as well something that i wouldn't recommend which i may get comments about if i don't mention it um is tv time or screen time there um have been there is research into it um it's actually not good for their brains to watch it this this early on um i think it's overstimulating and i might try and like maybe leave a link to something or maybe write a bit more about it because i can't i've just remembered that i haven't spoken about it in this video um and i can't think of the top of my head haven't I, and i haven't got time to sort of remember exactly what it is but it but i know it is detrimental to them so don't you know a lot of people do the dancing fruit thing but actually that but actually that's not good for them um so that is something that i won't be doing myself with with her um but yeah if you want to know more about it i'll maybe like leave a link or something um to like the research or um i've seen a post on instagram but yeah i'll leave some information if you're interested i'll leave that below but i just thought somebody will probably say oh you know what about screen time or what about this or yeah but yeah that is something i won't be doing if there are any other ideas that you've got or something that you like doing that I haven't mentioned, because I'm sure there's something, then leave them in the comments below. So that is a bit of a whistle stop tour of the newborn activities. I'm sorry that I kind of like had to whisk my way through that really, but I've got the baby down here. Um, I didn't know how long I was going to have to talk it through, but yeah, hopefully I would have put all my clips in and you kind of see what I mean. And yeah, like don't worry, like they're only young obviously they're newborn they aren't awake that long so you will find you can't do all of these things you definitely can't do all of it all in one day or every time that they're awake you might not find it but you know just the odd little window that you get you can just think of this video and uh hopefully find something that you can do but anyway yeah i really hope that you enjoyed this video you find it helpful as i say it's nothing like amazing like spectacular these newborn activities are just sort of basic things you might do anyway um but yeah i hope you find it helpful in some way i would love for you to subscribe and join me here on my channel i talk about things newborn talk about things toddler slash preschooler now he's now four um so yeah i'd love to have you here but thank you so much for watching this video and we will see you soon bye everyone <laughs>